Nice, eh? What are you eating? This is for you. Oh, thank you, Daniel. Uh, uh, thank you. Oh. And Auntie, how is Philip? Well, Philip is fine. Philip is doing well. Oh, thank you. Auntie, yes. can I go inside quickly? No problem, you can go. If I need anything, I'll call you, Daniel. Thank you so much, my dear. Okay. Uh -uh. Daniel! Come! Yes? How old are you again? Nine years old, ma. Nine years? Wow! Don't worry, my dear. You can go inside. I'll call you if I need anything. Okay. Thank you. Again. This one won't take it. Hello? Yes, what? Ah, you this boy. How many times will I tell you? Eh? How many times will I tell you to put the box in the garage? How many times will I tell you what to do? Why are you so unintelligent? What are you what have you been doing? What are you thinking of? You're such a foolish boy. Eh? You see, every time when I'm not at home, you cannot use your brain, you cannot think of what to do. Eh? Can you get into the, uh, the get into the the, the the garage and open the garage for them and let them put those things in, in the in the garage? Stupid boy. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that foolish boy? Uh, uh, uh Philip. You mean your son? Yes! That stupid boy. The boy. I, I don't know oh, why did you give me this kind of channel? Why did you give me all like that? Do you know that Philip cannot use his, his brain? I will tell Philip, Philip, do this, Philip, do that. Do you know before I came here? Yeah? My suppliers, they called me. They said they were coming with my goods. I told him before I left the house. I told him what to do. Before I got to your place, I, I called him again. I told Philip, Philip, this is what I want you to do. Can you imagine him calling me again? He boy said he's just big for not. He cannot even think. He cannot even think. He has coconut head. Foolish boy. I can't even imagine. Look now. I walked in here. Your son offered me juice. He offered me water. I didn't ask him anything. He brought 
Philip can never think of that kind of a thing. Philip is only ten, Philip is ten years old. Daniel is nine. Years. He can't even think about it for one minute in his life. He can't use his brain. The son, in that manner, rose. Your son, I mean, <laughs> your own son. Come on, Rose. I expected better from you. You should know better, for God's sake. Uh -uh. Don't you know that the words we say to these children can either build or damage their self-esteem? How can you... Come on. How can you say to your child that he's foolish and uh, unintelligent? He will grow to believe it. And if care is not taken, he will end up just exactly the way you have you have uh, 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 described him. Come on, Rose. Ah, ah. God has given his children to us to take care of them and not to use swear words on them. Eh? They will grow to believe all those words you say to them. If care is not taken, Rose. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Look. This tongue that the Lord has given to us, it's small, but it's very mighty. Rose. Okay, let me show you something. Just wait. In the book of Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 21, let me just show you. It says the tongue can bring death or life. And those who love to talk will reap the consequences. Rose, <laughs> you have to be very careful and conscious. Now look at um, um, Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 4. Gentle words are like tree of life. Mm -hmm. But negative words crush the spirit. You don't want to crush the spirit of your son. Okay. What if somebody outside refers to your son as being foolish has been unintelligent, has been stupid. How would you feel? They can't do that. You see? Here you go. And now you are the one. Come on. How do you think the boy will feel? Yes, yes, yes. I'm just disappointed. Emily, I, I don't understand. Is it because of this uh, small correction that I corrected Philip that you are conducting a uh, sermon? Eh? I was only trying to correct. I was only angry. Just I didn't cause him. I didn't say it to never be well with him. I only called him. I said, what did I say? I said he was foolish. He was stupid. I, I didn't even say he's crazy. And you think those words? I are just normal? said this thing. I didn't mean those words. I just said it. Is it not what everybody says? It like we all do. No. I didn't no, mean it. No, no. But those are not the times where you dish out such words to them. We have to be very conscious with the way we speak to them. Otherwise, we end up crushing their spirit. Rose, those things are not normal at all. Listen. Words have spiritual implications. And we as parents, <laughs> we are spiritual authority over those children. And so we have to be very careful with the words we use on them. Words are very, very, very powerful. I can't stress it enough. Ah. Words have spiritual implications. Yes, they do. They do.